Hey guys, how's it going today? This is Captain Energy. Today we're going to take a look at something that has come up from the community uh, recently, and that is involving using reason within Cubase. Now, I just did a video. If you want to see it, you can look at it at this link right here. Um, that shows how to use reason effects within Cubase as far as using them as an insert or whatever. Um, but uh, the other question was how to use the instruments in Cubase. So I figured I'd just do a quick video to show you how to use Reason's instruments in Cubase. It's actually really simple. So all we got to do first, okay, come over here to Cubase and right click in the instrument area right over here where you normally have your instruments and we hit add an instrument track. Boom. There we go. Now, right now I'm already on the Reason Rack plugin, but I'm going to show you this just so you can see. Usually there'll be folders here of different like for example I have uh, you know my captains plugins my drum type synthesizers whatever and right here I have one that says other other is where reason typically gets installed you can move it and you might have but uh, if you didn't it's right here so we click reason rack plugin and then we say we want a stereo out and we can actually add one or multiple at the same time I'm actually gonna add three uh, we'll go with four just to be safe. I've got a couple other things to show you when I want to use the same plugin a few times here in different scenarios. So I'm just going to click add track. Now you can just add the one that you need or you can, if you think you're going to need more than one, add a couple. Now this will take a moment because Reason has to actually load uh, a bunch of code. So we'll just be patient for a second here and I'm probably going to fast forward in the video. And through the magic of editing, there we go. Um, that was really quick, huh? <laughs> I wish it was that quick in real life, but it's not. So anyway, uh, what we want to do first is decide what instrument we want to bring in. Okay. First, I'm going to click right here, this little show browser button. And this will open up the list of, of reason instruments that we can see. Now there's instruments, effects, utilities, and players. All right. So to use an instrument, all we need to do is literally go down this list and find an instrument that we want to bring in. So I'm going to use this monotone bass synthesizer. It's a basic bass type instrument that um, is part of Reason. So bring that right in. So now if I go to my keyboard and play this instrument, you can see it's there. Not a problem. Well, that's great. Um, now, the thing that's cool about this is that all the effects that you would normally apply over here in I'm gonna close this for a second if we want that back by the way all we need to do is click this little edit instrument and there it is bam uh, but any effects that you insert over here now on your uh, audio inserts or, or your you know pre or post or or uh, if you use equalizer whatever you do over here now this will all affect that sound so now it's basically it's a first-class citizen instrument within Cubase. Just to prove that point, I'm going to hit right here. We'll just go to, we'll add a delay to it. And we'll just go with this one. That should be fine. And let's see. We got, wow, they've got a really slow start on that. I'm going to turn that, adjust that a little bit here. We'll throw that to uh, uh, 16. Here we go. Bam, and now every, anything you could do with any other instrument in Reason, uh, or in Cubase rather, you can do right here. Now, the other thing, I'm gonna go over here to my next one, which I haven't actually opened up yet, click open, and we're gonna pick an instrument again. As I mentioned, you can use uh, the effects in Reason in Cubase, Well, you can also apply them directly to the instrument right here if you want to. So if I go over here and grab this sweeper module, drop that right in there. Let me take a second. There we go. And Reason automatically maps it to the instrument. It's done. If you want to see what it looks like, hit tab while you're in here. And you can see that the Reason, uh, the instrument's outputs ran into the inputs on this effect. And the outputs ran back into, I'm going to expand this piece right here, the, uh, the audio out on the uh, Reason plugin. So basically, you can stack whatever instruments you want in here and build up 
some kind of you know cool creative thing, some cool creative instrument. The other thing, let's see here, is that you can actually take and add extra instruments in here. Now, to some degree, this is sort of like a combinator. Um, if I want to, I can go right over here and we'll add one more instrument. We'll just take something that's kind of very different from what we've got going on right now. We'll go with uh, strings. We'll drop some strings in here. We'll use friction. This is uh, now when I play. We have the strings and the bass playing at the same time. That's pretty cool. Now, this lets you build up. I mean, and to some degree, you can build some crazy instruments in here. You could uh, you could adjust the volumes on these so the strings weren't as, ap as apparent. Um, or you could even throw in a mixer ahead of them. So if I wanted to, I could throw this mixer right in here. And then wire all these to the mixer instead of directly to the output. So I could just take these guys right here. And there we go. And I'll move you guys over to the main just to for aesthetics because that's how it should be. And now if I look over here and I play, you'll see that they make their their noise is showing up right here. Whatever sound they're making is showing up in the on the mixer meters here. But that also gives me the ability to control everything right there. Also, this has some EQ capabilities built right in. So if I turn the EQ on, I can go. Cool little effect that you can go on, or a cool little thing you can do right there. Aside from that, these four knobs right here are a part of right here, which is these auxiliary sends and, and returns. So I could actually take an effect, and if I wanted to, I could throw this right, and I hold down shift so it doesn't automatically wire up. And I'm going to take this, and we're going to wire this puppy right in. And so on effect one now, or on effect right here, which is the, it'll say, you'll look to the right, it'll say easy fuzz. It automatically adds the name of the effect right there so you can see what's happening. Now I can go. Now we've got distortion coming in as well. Now, this is all well and good, but this is sort of a one-off um, setup right here, what we've got going on. There is a way to make this build, whatever you're making here, reusable. And that is using what's called a combinator. Now, the combinators are a very misunderstood device in reason. Um, I'll explain them in a way that makes sense right now. I had uh, got this inspiration to do this video from uh, one of my my subscribers who actually was asking me what is a combinator what's it do why do i need them well what a combinator does is it allows you to build essentially a small rack device that you can then use in in multiples if you want to uh, because now it's built and all the parts are in it it kind of lets you encompass whatever you want to build so I'm going to go right here to another blank. Let me close this guy right here. We're going to my blank reason. And this time, rather than go the route we did, I'm going to go right here, expand, and I'm going to go for utilities. Utilities is where you'll find the combinator. I'm going to bring this in. Okay. And the first thing I'm going to do with my combinator is I'm going to throw a mixer in. This is not a requirement. This is just the way I usually work. Um, there's my mixer. So now I say, okay, what instruments do I want to use my combinator? I'm going to actually use what we've been using kind of here. I'm going to drop my, my uh, monotone bass synthesizer right here. And then I'm going to go over and eh, we'll just grab, actually this time I'm going to grab a Maelstrom synthesizer just because it's a little lighter weight. Not that that's really a problem. I just want something to load quick. All right. And as you can see, 
And when I hit tab to see the back of the combinator, you can see everything's wired up kind of exactly like we had it wired before. It jumps, except for it automatically did this for us. It wired the monotone uh, bass synthesizer right here, channel one, which I'm going to minimize that. Kind of it collapses it rather, not minimize, but collapses it. And then we see that our Maelstrom is wired to channel two. And we got the same exact scenario where if I play it, that's everything. If I want to hear just the bass, I can mute the, the uh, Maelstrom. If I want to hear just the Maelstrom, I can mute the bass. And I can adjust these co these levels. I can adjust the EQ. I can add effects the same way we did before. Um, and now, if I decide I want to add an effect, we'll grab this pulverize right here. I'm going to hold down shift so it goes in, boom, like that. And now there it is. It's not wired up yet. I'm hitting tab to see the back. And here we go. Now I can take this input and this output, wire them up to the mixer. And now, as you can see, you can still see that it says basic pulverizer. Basic pull, it kind of gets cut off a little. But turn these knobs up here so we have some something going to it. So once we get that in there and we have an effect selected, boom, there we go. We'll turn up this bass. Well, now we've made basically essentially an instrument. We'll just say, this is something I think is amazing. Uh, it's just an instrument, whatever. It's not really amazing, but it's going to work. All we've got to do now is if I go and click Save Patch, okay, and save that as a name. I'm going to re-oversave a file here that I created earlier for the first time this video went sour. <laughs> uh, it was the video itself went great. The audio was not correct. I had a problem with my uh, my delay on my sound card. Um, so I hit save, and I say, yes, I want to place it. Okay, boom. You wouldn't have to do that if it was a new file name, but I just, you know, whatever. Anyway, so now if I go out here, and we've got one instrument using that now. And we go here, and we open this puppy up. This is the last one that was empty. And we go, okay, well, I want to bring in that instrument that I created because I think that thing was great. All I have to do is go to the folder where I saved it and there it is now if I open up the uh, show devices it hides them all automatically there's my my instrument same instrument we just made two of them and we can bring in as many as we want and we can modify them. We could bring that in and go, yeah, I want to use this as a base to uh, start my, my uh, you know, my production with. But I actually want to replace this with this Vesper with some other instrument, some other patch. Or maybe I want to... I'm on the wrong, wrong track. Sorry about that. I can replace the instrument. Or maybe even I want to add another instrument or take another instrument and replace it. I can go right over here and go, um, and we'll grab a, uh, well, we'll go to the Pangea World Instruments. That should be interesting. Yeah, you could mess around with this and go, well, I want mute that uh, bass but I want that and you've got a totally new instrument made right there and uh, you just basically used most of what you already did so you saved a bunch of time you got a new instrument out of it and everything's cool now there is one caveat to making combinators or using reason at all and that is that you cannot use a VST in a Reason Combinator 
if the reason combinator is being used in another DAW, as you know, if the reason if reason is being used in another DAW as a VST, because essentially what you've got going on there is kind of like the uh, you've got the inception effect, essentially like a dream within a dream. You can't host a VST within a VST to be used by a VST host. Um, so basically. And it makes sense when you think about it, because you know out there somebody's going to go, hey, I wonder if I can host Reason as a VST within Reason being used as a VST in my DAW. So my DAW talking to Reason, talking to Reason, or, you know, Serum in there, whatever. You, you just can't, because the problem is you're going to get into a situation where you're overloading uh, the processes in your system if they would would have allowed you to i'm sure it would have caused a lot of bugs coming from a programming background i can almost guarantee it would have caused a lot of instability so uh it's good that they didn't let this happen but uh, a couple people have been interested in using that type of technique it's not there uh at least not yet maybe in another future version uh, they may find a way to make this happen and still not let you load reason within reason because I mean that technically I think you could could manage that um, but I do feel like it would add a lot of extra weight using a VST within reason to use the VST in your DAW uh, if you know what I'm saying I just think it, you're wrap, it's too many layers it's better to just use the VST in your DAW directly than that use the VST inside of a VST in your DAW. Whew. That said, um, everything else, the possibilities are, are very, very, very wide open. There are so many things you could possibly do with this whole setup. And I hope you guys are going to take advantage of it. And I hope that was informative to someone out there. I hope somebody was able to gain something from this demonstration, this video. If you liked the video, please give me a like. And don't forget to subscribe. I've got a lot more content coming. This was uh, the second video this week, actually, which is pretty, pretty good. Um, and uh, so subscribe, like, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. And if this was helpful to you, got you around any kind of a corner you were trying to get past, but we're having trouble with, I would love to hear from you in the comments. Have an awesome day, and I will talk to you guys soon. Take care.